Want to learn how to edit like Apple in just a few simple steps? In this video, I'll show you how to replicate their clean, modern aesthetic without spending hours on a single edit. This style is all about keeping things simple, sleek, and high quality. First, I want to take you through a few basic effects in DaVinci that can make your edits a lot more aesthetically pleasing, but the gold is towards the end of the video where I share two websites that basically edited 90% of the intro you just saw. First up, the transform tool. Apply this effect to any image or video in your timeline. Increase the edge rounding to give your assets a modern, polished feel. It's a subtle tweak, but works wonders. Second, download the Apple font. Apple's signature font, San Francisco Pro Display, is free to download online. Once you've added a text plus clip and set the font to San Fran Pro, you can elevate it further with gradients. Head to the shading tab and select gradient, and you can experiment with different colors to give it a premium look. Third, add drop shadows. The simple trick makes your assets appear like they're floating. Go to effects, select open effects, and drag drop shadow onto your clip. Adjust as needed for a clean, professional look. Fourth, use Apple wallpapers. Apple invests millions of dollars into their wallpapers, so why not take advantage? If you have a Mac, you can just screenshot them. If not, you can just download them online. Fifth is smooth animations. Apple's animations are all about being slow and smooth. Here's a quick tutorial. Select your asset and place it where the animation should start. Keyframe a starting position, move ahead a few seconds, and set the ending position. To smooth it out, click the spline tool, select the animation curve, and adjust it for a gradual effect. To add some complexity, layer an adjustment layer over your asset and keyframe a zoom effect. For example, zoom out on the first frame, keyframe, move a few seconds ahead, and zoom in. Smooth it out with the spline tool for a seamless animation. Quick pause, if you're a video editor who prides yourself on high quality, high performance work, I'm building an elite team and I want you on it. I pay top rates, but I'm only looking for the best. If that's you, message me high quality editor on Instagram, at Zane Hoyer. Bonus tip, drag the white fade handle at the top of your clip to add a soft fade in effect. Simple, but so effective. Number six is the light shine effect. Simply go to the fusion tab and add in a glow node, and then add a transform node to that glow node and size it like a skinny rectangle, and adjust the settings to your liking. And then you can simply keyframe this moving across the object. Now we're on to assets and resources. No Apple inspired edit is complete without premium assets. Here are two must have resources. Number one is jitter.video. This site offers customizable app icon animations, lower thirds, beautifully animated visuals, text message effects, and a lot more. Just pick what you need, customize it, and download it with a transparent background. Number two is Motionary. Motionary is not only perfect for the hundreds of Apple sound effects and premium music, but if you go to video templates and search iPhone, you can download pre-made 3D rendered assets that you can import into your footage and it instantly makes your edit look like a $10,000 project. A quick third one would be screenshots and Canva. A lot of the time, I'll simply just screenshot different things in the Apple UI and then I'll edit them in Canva. This is one of my favorite editing styles because it's simple, sleek, and incredibly effective. 